Hi guys, welcome back to Run Stretch Succeed here and today we're going to do angles like Ambo. If you like running videos or ultra running videos, hit that subscribe and if you enjoy the video, give it a like. Let's get straight into the video. Zerk and Bull is organised by the Long Distance Walking Society West Lanks. There is two distances, one which is 24 miles and one which is 16 miles, which takes you through the finest scenery of the West Pennine Moors. The course takes you up Rivington Pike, then up Winter Hill, then you travel up and down all the elevations heading toward Derwin Hill to see the Derwin Tower. And you head to the last stretch over the Great Hill. I would like to thank one lad and his drone for letting me use his footage. All his information will be linked below. I don't even know what to say. It's said weird. I've got a new camera, so um, I can see myself. So it's a bit distracting. So, how many miles have we done, Katie? Because we're not recording. Five. We've done five miles. Winter Hill. So the next bit should be Derwin Tower. Um, and the weather is actually the clearest I've ever seen it. Like, when you're up the hills, you can see for miles and the weather is just generally the best it's ever been um i highly doubt there's gonna be any rain today there's a bit of snow at top of the hills yeah Whew. trying to record going uphill is not good when you're out of breath we should be getting to the first checkpoint sometime soon so i'm quite excited for today and um, hopefully we'll get done in about six hours something and i'm finally getting over this cold what i had at pendle hill last week and that pendle hill race was so hard harder than the lap did not expect it at all and i'm probably still recovering from it and I've got a bit of a sore knee from flexibility training in the week. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's just get away out of the way of this car. Uh, yeah. So, I need to book some more races this year. And I'm kind of not sure what to book. I'm really feeling Leeds to Liverpool again if they have any supported pl places left. Also, the Sky Helvellyn, as I really liked Helvellyn um, when I did it in December. So I really want to go back. I want to do the edge, is it called the edge? The thin point, as it just looks beautiful. I want to do it with someone experienced because it is really dangerous. I think there's like 10 deaths a year and I'm not the most coordinated person, so I'd rather go with someone. Yeah. Whew. Lad with a drone. I hope you enjoyed the drone footage and really trying to make the videos better. So if you can give us a like, it will really help with the algorithm. So I'm going to go.
So we are walking. Okay, so we are about eight miles in. We're ten miles in, as Katie's just shouting at me. Um, and we went to the first food checkpoint and the ladies were absolutely lovely because I didn't put down that I'm vegan. They was like making me sandwiches, um, really trying to cater for me with what they had. Um, but they do do vegan options if you tell them. It's just every time I fill out the form, it doesn't say vegan on my, my form. So I don't know what I do wrong. I do put it in the add more options, but they never read it. Well, it's not their fault because I'm just obviously doing the form wrong. So, so far so good. Very wet, very muddy. I fell over like really bad, like really dramatic. Sorry um, if there's mud on the screen. I'll, t I'll wipe it in a minute. Um, yeah, so um, I fell over face first into the boggy mess but it's a change from Katie last week and it's my turn I guess so so far so good it's really good weather it's not windy at all so we are just approaching Derwin Tower well not approaching but we're getting closer to it so that's like our next historical point I guess like big pain but my bum's really hurting me so i don't know if i've not recovered from last week or if it's something i've done in the week i did start off with a sore knee so that could be the issue that it's like mirrored onto my glute my glute minimus so yeah i'm going to go and I'll get back to you when we're closer to the wind tower. <laughs> so see you soon. miles in we've just been to Darwin Tower what is a tower what was put there for celebration of the Queen Mother's Ju Silver Jubilee Jubilee can't remember what it's called and um, I don't have a clue what year it was put there so if you know the answer put a comment down below and um, so I went up took some videos Nearly pooed myself because I don't like heights. I'm going to have to jump over something. What? Ha. Right, okay. Um, and now we are heading over to the Great Hill. Um, and we're going to get to the top of that. And hopefully we should be able to see Blackpool Tower. So I'm excited for that, weirdly. Like, overexcited. Also... We have just been to the checkpoint, the second checkpoint, and for a race, what is this budget? What's well, like 12 pounds? They well over cater pit for people. Like they literally bend over backwards. Like they have vegan options, gluten free, I think, as well. Um so basically I think if you message on your dietary issues, they'll make sure there is something for you. What for an event so so cheap? It's just ridiculous, especially when there is other events what 
you're paying like a hundred quid and they can't even make sure there's food for you when you finish because I feel like that's kind of essential like if you're doing an ultra or a long distance race you definitely want to make sure people get home safe so I really feel like when you've ran like 40 miles you don't want to be like passing out at the wheel I get it's partly your own responsibility but I do feel like when you're charging a hundred pound for a race that should be included for like the value of it um so it's really weird because there's just random patches of snow because it snowed last week sorry i thought i was going to sink into that mud um <coughs> just random patches of snow can you see them behind there let's see behind there just randomly though and i don't understand why there's just random patches and then there's not snow for miles but obviously that ground must be colder Maybe there's like water under it or something. Oh my god, don't fall. <sighs> Hi guys, <laughs> still here. <aren't they? clears throat> I think I just. I don't have a clue what I've just done. Right, I'm going to go because I'm going to probably fall over. So. <laughs> my hips are killing me um, I fell over quite hard the second time I'm not actually hurt myself it's just I think it's just made that other hip a bit worse and then knocks my mood so it's not too bad we're two miles from the end we go to the end and then we go for hill so I can't even run that anyway then we go on back onto the road and then we turn this weird section where I never know which way to go so I've got to watch people else I'll end up going the wrong way and end up doing an extra couple of miles but that's it really and then it's time for coffee and soup so this section is actually quite boring compared to the rest of it just because it's still beautiful I feel like because the rest of the course is so nice when you get to this there and it's just a couple of trees and a res, res I can't say the word res, this reservoir it's just a bit more boring it's not as interesting it's not the vibe let's say so I just want to finish because I want to sit down have a cup of tea and see how my legs are I actually don't feel like they're going to be dead stiff I feel like it's just the hip has been overworked from last week then i did loads of flexibility training actually i was thinking about doing a video about my flexibility training and what types of stuff i train and i was quite wondering if you would be interested in seeing my routine it's quite advanced but i do feel like some of you might be interested to see what my routine looks like because it probably does look a lot different to what people say if that's something you'd be interested in comment down below as comment down below as i might just do it anyway because i think i might just do it to record my own journey so we are going to go up this hill it's not a massive one um I used to do it five times a day. No, I didn't. I did it five times in a week when I did Hell of a Hill. 
what is a ultra no it is a multi-day marathon event by time to run if anyone remembers it it's been gone since before covid the company shut down um but it was a really good event it's a shame the company shut down right i'm going to go get to the end have a sit down and rest my hips so see you soon my lovelies So guys, I'm about to end of the race. I did it in six hours. I'm going to say six hours 50, but I will put it on screen. It, will, it was very slippy. I fell over and hurt my hip. So I'm just waiting at the barn at Rivington for to be picked up. So I thought I'll just go over the whole event. The whole event is absolutely amazing, especially for something so cheap. I think it costs like under 15 pound what for an event with really good checkpoints with really good food who cater for gluten-free vegan it is just really budget friendly all the volunteers and organizers are so friendly it's so well organized i just don't understand how they manage it on such a cost on such a bu budget it's just such an amazing event and to be honest i feel like all the long distance walking association event are absolutely 10 out of 10 amazing budget friends just really good if you want to do an event walk and they're just really good if you wanted to do a training event i had such a good day after you get like soup and a roll and a hot drink i don't really feel like for the course there is much more what you could ask for it's just such a Good event what i highly recommend especially if you struggle to train especially if you struggle to train and do trail um, and hilly runs it is something what is really motivating to meet new people and get feedback of what other races in the area are like so i'm just so chuffed with how today's turned out i've also from the local cafe i bought a little friend I need to show you him, it's so cute. So, this is my new son. This is Angle Zach. Um, he's beautiful, he's cute. I love him. And if you don't think he's cute, I don't care, because he's mine. So if you like ultra running videos or running videos in general, please give us a subscribe, please give us a like, and I will see you at my next event if i don't do a video earlier what i think i will be doing so see you next